Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd Anderson with avnirvana.com and we're hanging out here at Cedia 2023 in Denver, Colorado. And I'm here with Chad Russell of Surge X. Chad, it's good to see you again. Good to see you as well, sir. Had a great week. I'm glad I still have my voice. You sound all right, too. I'm hanging in there. I, we're right at the very end of the show here. Saving the best for last, of course. Thank you, thank you. So you guys have had some pretty exciting uh, new news coming into Cedia this year, and you're kind of changing things up a little bit. Yeah, you know, one of the main things we're trying to do is really focus on changing how we're categorizing the whole thing with power. We want to look at it bigger. We want to come at this with a larger approach towards really being able to maintain, maximize that client uptime and make sure that your systems are always working. So we're just doing it a little bit differently and getting that new messaging out there along with SurgeX Connect and uh -huh. the protect and connect ideology that we're putting out there. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I mean, your new connect product essentially uh yeah, it's really super interesting, especially for the integrator that wants to be off-site and monitor what's going on. Yeah, I mean, what we're trying to do is make sure that we want to work with our current partners and make sure that we give them an extension capability of things. But really what we're trying to do is kind of just expand that where we've been as such a market leader in the surge elimination, we've kind of lacked on the software side, but now really getting that point addressed and making some really exciting things happen to really uh, enable that maximize, maximize the uptime and having clients be happy in the end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on here in a little bit more detail. So the first part of it is we have some new products that have come where we really focus around our our protection topology is like what looks like that is modular. Uh -huh. So you can utilize this with the current way you're using things, which gets into the SurgeX reactor, which is complete surge elimination in a patented way. Right. Then you take that and apply that into our new series of products and hardware, like the vertical series power strips for use in racks. This is the largest one at 24 ports. I know it's like, wow, that's really big. We have that's insane. 24, I mean, what? who is using this kind of? Anybody with the, that really wants to maintain and manage uh, a singular rack on one right. on one one single uh, circuit. That's a heck of a rack right there. Yeah. <laughs> then you get into eight and sixteen smaller, so you can actually like make that modular as well. But then you get into the other piece as we get into our smaller piece that we've been waiting for to mount behind the TV, the display packs, which will uh, be at a price point that everybody likes. But the real darling of the whole situation really gets into uh, the SurgeX Connect platform and giving visibility in a way that you haven't really been able to see when you look at be able to see the line input frequency, see actually the crest factor current, the power factors, voltage use, and then really dive into historical data too from like that version one that everybody knows and a lifetime achievement award when I think it went out a product uh -huh. for uh, for Envision. For Envision. When you look at this piece and dive into what we can do and see the analytics behind everything and pull everything up with a cool dashboard and then also dive in and be able to see kind of historical data of input voltage. And that's something that gives you the ability to go and tell your client, hey, this is why we had the reboot. This is what happened, and it just kind of changes the game to really give visibility For on sure. how, how that impacts what's happening in your very sensitive electronic device environment. Right, so the, an event happens, something crashes in a client's home or in your own home, you have this that you can go back and look and be like, okay, this is exactly what happened. So you're not just putting a Band-Aid on a problem. Yeah. You actually go fix the problem. Yeah, then you can also take it one step further, have notifications set up to get a push notification if something happens. So you can be proactive. Uh -huh. We're not so reactionary. Maybe, you know, the big thing that when I was working in an integrator in a resort town, the clients only are only there one month a year. And what you want to do is be, you can check the status remotely, see where everything is and be notified so you don't have to roll trucks every time in order to make sure you get it, especially in that sensitive time right before the holidays when they've got to have everything working and bandwidth is of your, you and your company is a priority, right? Yeah, so. for sure. Um, and you can do all kinds of things remotely here, right? You can reboot systems, you can... By device, yeah. So what you'll device. see here is you'll have different site names of what's all, all in here and we need to get all this stuff updated. Some of these are still prototypes, but you'll have all your site names you can see, and then currently it'll all import in, so you can use your other things with Domos, Oversee, and other products that are out there, even the Crestron XIO cloud stuff we're working through as well. So there's a lot of compatibility. It's about partnerships, working together, and expanding that as well. So 
You can go in and do it by individual device and then even have different permissions on who can actually have access to that as well. Yeah. 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 Very cool. And a lot of these individual products are now, they have Ethernet ports so they can communicate up to the cloud. Is there any chance there will be some wireless connectivity in there also? Yeah, the new uh, display packs are actually wireless connectivity and everything's going to be hosted in the cloud with our new iteration of all the products. So it's really exciting to see the direction of where we're going as an organization. We started having some fun. And yeah. make, we're making power fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's cool because if it's wireless, you can slip it up behind your TV, even if it's up on a fireplace or somewhere where you, so you're not having to bang through and run ethernet cable. That's right, yeah. So it's really helpful and beneficial on those aspects for speed of deployment. You know, but we really wanna start focusing on, this seems to be an industry where if someone spends a bunch of money with you, that you're kind of married to that whole situation in perpetuity. And like sometimes someone spends a bunch of money, you don't always wanna charge them and bill them out for those service calls. And yeah. so, what you want to do is really focus on that remote management aspect, focus on your visibility into systems, you know, whether you're home, a homeowner, or or for an integrator, make sure you can get that stuff handled appropriately. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so for the customers out there, the home theater fans that want some of this brought into their lives, where should they go to find out more and to, to find dealers and things like that? Sure, go to surgex.com. You can always email me at chad.russell at amatech.com. And I'm always here to help you and do whatever I can to get you in contact with the right guys to move forward. Okay, awesome. Well, Chad, thank you so much for hanging out with Thanks, us. Thanks, Todd. And uh, enjoy the rest of your, what? We've got like an hour left here Hopefully. in Denver. Hopefully. <laughs> And for everyone out there, we have maybe something else coming up in the next hour. We'll wait and see uh, if something materializes. But aside from that, thanks for hanging out with us at Cedia.